Since the 1800s, North Carolina has taken dozens of direct hits from hurricanes. Here are the top five strongest based on wind speeds in this week's weather IQ. Number five, Hurricane Fran, September 1996. Hurricane Fran is the only major hurricane to make landfall in North Carolina in the past 60 years. It produced maximum sustained winds at 115 miles per hour landfall in Cape Fear and even stronger wind gusts. Number four, Hurricane San Siriaco, August 1899. It gets its name because it first hit Puerto Rico during the Catholic Festival. It made landfall days later on Ocracoke Island with estimated wind gusts ranging from 120 to 140 miles per hour. This storm knocked out bridges in the Outer Banks and wrecked ships off the coast, adding to the legendary graveyard of the Atlantic. Number three, the Great Beaufort Hurricane, August 1879. This Category 3 storm snuck up on the Carolina's Crystal Coast. The highest landfall in Beaufort, North Carolina even caught the governor off guard. Wind gusts reached at least 138 miles per hour at Cape Lookout before the anemometer was blown away. Number 2, Hurricane Helene, September 1958. Hurricane Helene could have been number one, but the strongest winds around the eye narrowly missed the coast by just 20 miles. The National Weather Service in Wilmington still recorded gusts up to 135 miles per hour, and the Coast Guard station at Cape Lookout measured gusts up to 144 miles per hour. Number one, Hurricane Hazel, October 1954. Hurricane Hazel wins the top spot for the strongest known landfalling hurricane in North Carolina history. Hazel's eye came ashore in North Carolina and South Carolina border, creating devastating damage. Hitting at the same time as high tide, Hazel's storm surge was up to 18 feet high in Calabash. Hurricane force winds were recorded in Raleigh and Fayetteville, and an estimated one third of all buildings east of Charlotte were damaged. North Carolina has never seen a Category 5 hurricane, and let's hope it stays that way. I'm meteorologist Chris Mulcahy with WCNC Charlotte.